from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. This region has been thirsty and crying out for the revelation of God. For it was in the northern parts of California that I brought forth a movement, the Jesus movement. And God says now, and I choose you south. I wish to reveal myself in a way that I have never done before, says the Lord. A new force. A new, innovative, creative church that will rush through the cities. They will take the marketplace by storm. Watch and seek. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Something happened in this garden that triggered a word. What happened in the 60s and the 70s in California with this Jesus movement, I've already prophesied this, but he said this is the time for that major revolution. Now is the time.
In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson. Good afternoon and uh, also good evening to some places as far as I know, it probably in Australia it's already night. So welcome to the Fake News Show, this is your host Benny. Yes, today I was not supposed to broadcast my show. And you're probably asking yourself, why Benny is broadcasting on Thursday? When you say that your show will only broadcast Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, the simple answer is this. And be ready. Because tomorrow, Friday, the 29th, is going to be crazy. Okay? It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be priceless. So hold that thought. Yesterday I posted on my Facebook page. For those who are not on my Facebook page, I'll tell you exactly what I said and what I posted on my Facebook page. Of all the crazy stuff that I post, many people pay attention to my post. Not because I'm so crazy, but because they know that when I say something, it's about something to happen. So this is um, this is what I'm going to let everybody know who has, who is not on my Facebook page. What I'm about to tell you is going. It basically is going to be the whole show. The whole show is going to be about this. And you need to be ready, Jets. If you're following me, you need to be ready. Before you start coming to me and say, Benny, what's going on? Are we going to have an RB or not? So before it happens, I got to warn you, right? Yeah, I got to warn you. So let me just, uh, let me read exactly what I actually posted 20 hours ago. And this is what I said. In the next three weeks, you will see the starting of InfoWars. I will explain later on my show. That was yesterday. Okay? So, today we have news. Tremendous news. Okay? So, I'm going to... Oh, before I, I say what the news are... And to let you know what is the title of our show. The title of our show is this. Okay, let me go up to my show because I have a, such a bad memory. I need to go back. Oh, here it is. Here it says, it's official. The world of information has started. What is coming in the next few weeks will completely change. Your reality. Then I say that September 23, we were going to jump to a new reality. Then I say that we are going to experience a new paradigm. Yes, we are. And we are right now seeing exactly as the prophecy said. Okay? So, I would like to publicly thank... All the Currency365 for their support to bring us 100% information from Iraq. I would like to publicly thanks uh, John Nigo, my man, my brother in Jesus Christ, 
for the last, probably the last three years that I see him talking on Currency 365 and analyzing the situation in Iraq. I have said and I will say it again. He continuously nailed it. He continuously nailed it. He knows exactly what is going on. And he asks the questions for everybody to brainstorm. I also would like to thank Eric John that I had spoke about earlier. This man has so much information that it will actually open your eyes. I also would like to thank, uh, what's her name? Uh, let me just take a look. Her name is, is um, her name is, it's kind of an Arabic name, I believe. And I don't know if her, that's her real name, but anyway, she is really good too. I'm telling you that, but she's really good bringing information into my page. I really appreciate that for her. Uh, she's very good ca coming out with Arabic, Arabic news, okay? So, I would like to publicly thank her for, for the information she's bringing out to my Jets and to my Facebook page. Because ne people need to be aware of what's going on, okay? So, sorry that I just forgot your name, but I'm really bad with me, with names. It's not something personal. Don't take it personal. You know who you are. And I really appreciate your collaboration in the uh, fake news show and also the co collaboration on my Facebook page. Thank you so much. All right. So I will post two links. Let me see how many links I have. I have one. Yes, I have two links I'm going to, going to post on Facebook. If you want to know the information that I'm about to reveal. I also would like to tell you that I have a special guest in my show. Yes, you heard it right. I have a special guest in my show that he actually tests me. And the minute that he tests me, he called my attention because he brought up a prophetic date. Are you listening? He brought up a prophetic date that he is very strongly believer that God is about to deliver his promise to his people, to all of us. Okay? So let go let me just go back and what's going on with with the uh with the information that I got. And that will be the title, the basic topic of this show. Now um I got to tell you something for those who are looking for the Zimbabwe. I have information for the Zimbabwe, but I'm not allowed to say anything because, like I said, I'm waiting for tomorrow. So wait until tomorrow, and I will let you know if, if, if something really very strong happening with the Zimbabwe, okay? Now, if nothing happens in the news with the Zimbabwe... I may hold that at this Saturday, or I may even say what I'm going to say, okay? But I really hate to come out with intel and not have proof what I'm saying, because I don't like that. Now, not that I'm afraid to be wrong, because I'm not afraid to be wrong. It's just that uh, it's better, you know, to prove people that I'm not lying. Simple as that. I've been proving all my haters for many, many, many years now <laughs> that uh, that my information is accurate and they're wrong. They love to hate, especially those uh, trolls in, in, um, in YouTube. They, they love to find every little detail and insult me and all that things because they just really don't don't believe uh, in this information don't really care they only care about hating people and i like it i like it when when these people show their hate you know because they're show frustration and many of my jets 
they're not frustrated. They know exactly what I'm waiting for. So I'm going to tell you for those who are following me right now, what am I waiting for? Okay, I'm going to make it very clear before I start my show. I'm not waiting for a speech. I do not, and I'm not waiting for an announcement. There will be no speech. There will be no announcement. Period. What I'm waiting for is a break in the financial system. For more than four years, we need something to fail. And that something to fail is the financial system. So, if you know what as a reason is, just follow what the computer does when it frees up on you. What is your first step? You turn it off and you go back again. That whole process that you're doing on your computer is called reset. It's basically deleting everything, all what it was in the past, and come back, restore. That's the word, restore. Okay? So, that is a reset. So, we need something to restore us back into the gold standard. Without the gold standard, there will be no revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, no revaluation of any other currency in the world. Now that you have heard this and heard it right and clearly, I will go on with my show. So, what is the big news that is coming out today? It just happened that the terrorist, the um, the head of the ISIS, assumingly has resuscitated, meaning he's not dead. Okay, so I'm gonna play with the permission of I have asked for permission, but I, with all the respect, with all the respect to John Nigo, currency three sixty five. I will play part of his show, of his video, and then I will give you my intel. And this is the reason why I called it yesterday that we are right now in the world of information. It's called InfoWars. There is a reason why there is a reason why there's a show called InfoWars. And the reason is because my man, the biggest investigator in the world of conspiracy, Alex Jones, called his show InfoWars because he's trying to bring you the enlightenment of the right information. And why the establishment continues to manipulate the media and every little thing just to bring out chaos and panic. So let me play the video of my brother in Jesus Christ, John Nigo, and I will give you my intel after that. All right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. (laughs) Wow. Is this guy back from the dead or what again? So, Russia, Iran, and other countries were confirming uh, several months back that 99.9% that they had killed this man, (laughs) okay, in in either Syria or some parts of uh, northern Iraq or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I can't remember what places it was. I think it was Syria bombings or stuff like that. America comes out and says, we, we, we haven't seen any of those details in any of those sources, so we're not going to believe anything you say. So, And then Mad Dog Mattis actually went to the region and says, we don't, we don't know if he's alive or not. We're going to just wait it out. And so today, it looks like uh, breaking news uh, from uh, Sora uh, that ISIS caliphate uh, leader, uh, you know, Baghdadi is still alive. The leader state's current Islamic month in latest speech indicating he is still alive despite uh, Russian claims of his death and strikes. 
mentioned at the uh, 46th minute of his speech. Now, this could be an altered speech. We know it. We know this could be altered. The fact that they're still playing games, is, it, you know, with if he's still alive or not, is it's very troubling because this shouldn't be the case. Because Musul has been done for a long time. We're we're about to be in October. Musul has been done, right? But Iraq is still not liberated completely. There's something is not right with that picture. If Musul was the biggest place left to get done, and then the rest of it was really small areas, and Musul was done in June. I think it was June, right? June, July, whatever it was. June or July, Musa was completed. And we're about to be in October. Why aren't those areas in Western Ambar completed by now? And so because those areas aren't completed by now, we get stuff like this that can come right back up. We don't know if it's true. We don't know if it's false. I did listen to the audio. It doesn't really sound like him but I don't have a face to put to him as well. He could easily have changed his voice. His voice could have definitely changed under the conditions he's been living in for his survival, eating anything that he can possibly eat in the, you know, in the desert. Or he could have been being very well taken care of by the, uh, you know, American government, Syrian government, Iraqi government, who, uh, the New World Order, who else? Who, uh, we don't know. We don't know what's going on in the background. One of the reasons why the American troops and a body refuse to allow people in to tell afar. Interesting that this is coming out after tell afar is completed. So they wouldn't allow anybody to go into tell afar. The PMU said that Baghdadi was in tell afar. And then they waited months and months and months and months. And then they allowed them publicly to go into tell afar. So they were hiding something in tell afar. Was it him? I don't know. Telefar's over and here he is. Here he is. So we don't know. Okay? We don't know if this is video, audio, this audio is altered. We don't know if it's if it's, they're just playing mind games or mind control. We don't know what it is. Okay? Interesting day to put this out, you know. So let's actually go to the audio and let me just play a little bit of it here. كلمة لمولانا أمير المؤمنين okay. أبي بكر الحسيني. That doesn't sound like him. Let's fast forward here and see if. ذروا uh... لهم من الشرك قال تعالى ولقد بعثنا في كل أم. That still doesn't sound like him. كنها من الحكم بشريعته في مناطق. That doesn't sound like him at all. So if you can go back to the old videos of how he sounded compared now, that doesn't sound like him. But at the same time, he's been through a lot in the last five months. So he, it could, his voice could be altered or have changed in the, because of the conditions he's in. Okay, so... That's an audio. It's 46 minutes of some type of address. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, interesting. I, I I think we're going to have to wait for more uh, con confirmations and, and more, uh, p maybe some pictures from ICE, the people that are on, that are part, part of ISIS. Maybe they'll come out. P people that are part of Dash will come out and say, yeah, he gave a speech today. If we can, if we can see more of that, um then uh then maybe it'll be confirmed but just uh, having an audio that could be could altered, altered could be anybody's voice, voice could be anything, anything we, don't we don't know, know. Okay? okay okay so as you can see he just came back from death after russia actually he gave 100 percent guarantee that he was dead so why this thing is happening well, let me just tell you something. The technology of audio, image, and even real-time facial reenactment assist in our days. 
As a matter of fact, it has more than 20 years that they've been working on this technology. Now, let me give you just a little part of what I'm talking about. I'm going to play with the permission of, I hope that he doesn't get mad with me. I respect him a lot, and I have said it all the time that he is probably the only conservative out there in YouTube that has been attacked more than anybody else in the world. And I admire him a lot. His name is Mark Dice. So let me play, let me play this video that he created a long time ago. Using just an ordinary webcam in real time, it maps the facial expressions of the target onto another person. Okay, let me just get it back because I believe it did not sound the way I wanted to sound. I just had an error in my system. So let me just play it back. New real time face swapping software may make it nearly impossible to determine whether or not a video clip of someone reportedly saying something is actually real or whether it has been manufactured. The software is being developed by Stanford University and is a more advanced version of the popular face swap feature on Snapchat, which allows people to digitally switch their faces for a few seconds if they're both pictured in the frame. But this software is so advanced Using just an ordinary webcam in real time, it maps the facial expressions of the target onto another person's face. You can see here, this is an actual clip of President Obama giving a speech. And down here on the bottom is the reenactment. Almost impossible to tell that it's fake. This mixed with voice swapping software will make it nearly impossible to determine whether or not a video clip that you see is actually real or not. There you go. So, do you really think that this terrorist has come back? Let's go back from three years ago. I think it was three years ago when actually ISIS came out. It started with Dash, probably. I, I think it started with Dash. And I knew that Dash was a tool to delay the, the system. It delayed the RB. It was designed to delay everything. Okay? It was basically created by the cabal. Then after that, it was they created ISIS. And that's when it delayed everything. It delayed the financial reset. All right? It's pretty clear. So they've been trying to delay it again. Now let me put all the pieces together. I said it last time that the RB was canceled. Remember that. Why did they tell me, why did they tell me that the DRB was canceled? What actually was behind that statement, that information, which ultimately I say they're lying to me. I say that they're lying to me because everything they saying is a lie. They actually doing a lot of progress in Iraq concerning the change of the dinar. They doing a lot of progress behind the curtains in Vietnam, in Zimbabwe, in Indonesia. All right? Now, so why are they saying these things? Why Avari even come out saying that not 
we're going to, it probably will take up to two months for Iraq to be basically proclaimed, liberated, totally. So he's saying also that he knows that as long as Iraq, it is not so and so called liberated, he cannot politically and legally raise the value of their currency. Finish all the things that he needs to finish. The Article 140, the lower denims, etc., etc. It is obvious that this corrupt minister in Iraq don't have any intentions to make the so-called more famous a speech or announcement of the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar or proclaim and say to the whole world that Iraq is open for international business. Because as you know, Iraq cannot go international without raising the value of their currency. He had his chance to do it. He showed up at the UN and did nothing. As a matter of fact, he left. And the Barsani, another corrupt politician, based on the reports about his family, he's also behind all these delays. I have said it many times that the government of Iraq, it is the most corrupt government in the face of the world. And many others of my jets and other people are saying, well, I don't believe it. The most corrupt government in the world is the United States. Well, that could have happened and still is because Donald Trump has not cleaned the government yet. It probably will take about a year and a half until he actually cleaned all the crap that is involved in the United States, in the government. But still then, Iraq is more corrupt than the United States. Because they're milking their way out by receiving a lot of uh, loans. And as long as they're receiving loans, as long as the whole world giving these criminals loans, they will not have to have the need to raise the value of the currency. Simple. Why would they do that? They don't have no need for that. They can still be using their worthless piece of shit currency for another 25 years. Yes, they can do that. They've been doing it just fine because they've been collecting all these dinars and all these dollars out of the expense of countries who are looking only to help the people in Iraq. I have said it, and I'm going to repeat it, said it, that there will be something that will be forced for them to raise the value. What are those things that are going to be the elements that this government will have to raise the value regardless if they want to or not? One of those big points is this. Iraq, right now, as I am speaking, is having a tremendous problem of liquidity. They're already having tremendous problem in their economy. And they know that the only way they can get rid of this problem is by raising the currency. So things are not working against us. Things are working very, very good to everybody. Now, this is the intel that I'm going to give you. I have told you that even if I knew the day of the RB, I will not give it to anybody. 
Why? Because I probably will run that risk of going to prison. Why? Because they can do that. It is a too big event for for me and you, for anybody. I have said it. This this thing is this event is bigger than you and me. So I don't know the uh, the day of the RB. That's what everybody's asking me. And by the way, for all those Boricuas, Boricuas is called the people in Puerto Rico. For those who speak English, stop asking me if we are revalue. If you don't see anything on my Facebook page, there's no revaluation. Okay? I totally understand that you are in a very, very difficult position. I sympathize with you. It breaks my heart that you are going through this. The whole island is a disaster. Okay? I have said it and I even cry on my Spanish show. Because it really breaks my heart to see all this desolation, all this pain, everything through the videos, through the news. It really breaks my heart. But just for your consciousness, don't worry about getting filthy rich. Worry about surviving. They make it makes no sense that you are asking me if we are already revalue or we are going to exchange. It would be no no basically no logic. There's no banks open in Puerto Rico. And not many are able to travel to the United States. And the reason is pretty simple. There are no flights. So stop asking me if there's any revaluation. Don't fall for chaos. And don't fall for panic. God will lead you to the right time. God will always come on the right time. He never late. Never. Okay? So stop the chaos. Stop the chaos. God will give you the resources that you need for you to go to the bank and exchange. Alright? So calm down. Chill out. I totally understand why you feel this way. I know many have lost everything. But just as much as Puerto Rico has been devastated, just as much as Puerto Rico has been destroyed, it will come the double blessing of the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar and all the currencies. Because that's the promise of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So take it easy. I will go ahead right now and I'm going to call my special guest and hopefully answer. So hold on right there. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? You on air? You on air? Um, you on air? Uh, let me, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Jesse. Jesse. And Jesse is a charismatic Catholic. He sent me a, a he sent me a message and let him explain what the message was. Go ahead, Jesse. Yeah, I was just uh, I sent uh Danny a message today and uh about uh I think it was 2016 Early in the morning, I was praying, and I had a vision of a clock. The uh, hour hand was at the seven, which interpreted to me means completion. And then the minute hand was at uh, two minutes to 12. So that would be 658. And then uh, the number 12, God told me, is 12 months in a year. If you subtract the number 12, and go back two notches, 
It's October. God told me that in October of this year, the Iraqi dinar and whatever else goes with it would reevaluate. Last Sunday, I got my calendar here. It was the, to make a long story short, she says, I see some provision what? coming. Hold on, that means money. Hold on, hold on. Something happened to my yeah. transmission because I got over a million people right now. Okay. Uh, it failed my server right now, so I need you to start in about 20 seconds what you just said. Uh, you were saying that after you slept, uh, after you dreamed that. Go on. Yeah, after I had that vision, uh, I went to the calendar and I put it down and uh, God told me, October of 2017, the Iraqi dinar would reevaluate. And the day was? The day, uh, I'm not sure. The lady gave me a prophecy last Sunday. Who, uh, who gave you 24. that? Okay, who, who, who gave you that? The later, uh, our later, our, our blessed my, uh, Virgin Mary, right? No, this one, uh, 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 a lady, a woman. Okay. Uh, at a, at a meeting last Sunday, mm -hmm. gave me this uh, this prophetic word, which was Sunday the 24th. She said, uh, because you have given money to people and helped people out, God is going to repay you. Uh, but in seven days, uh, something's going to happen. Provision. She used the word provisions. It's going to come to you in seven days. So I went to my calendar, and I counted seven days, and Sunday... Sun, this coming Sunday is the first of October, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so God told me somewhere in October it's going to hit. So I got the first of October. So got it. So you didn't say that you didn't say October seven, right? No, no. That that seven that I was talking about means the number of completion. You know that the the time that the Everything is good. No more delays. No, in other words. Got it. So let's yeah. uh, let's let's assume. So if we we are three days away for for October first. Yes, yes, we got to pray. Okay. And uh, all right. So oh, and then, then she told she told me this that you're going to get a phone call from somebody. I don't know. That's they, just what she okay. told me. Yep, the famous phone call. The same phone call that I reported a long time ago. From Lana Bowser, when I was listening to the prophet, she said this. There's somebody who are listening to me that received a call. I want you to know that that call, I'm going to twist it around and I'm going to give you another call when everything will collapse for them and I'm going to make it positive. That's what Prophet Lana Bowser said it. Why did I say this? Because when I was on the elite meeting, we received a call saying the same thing. That they were planning to cancel the RB. And they just made that call because they knew that if they were right there, they were going to be assaulted by the rest of the bankers. Everybody got pissed. And now, if we put all the pieces together, it is about to come. Now let me explain to you about this terrorist resuscitation. In the prophecy for the September 23. It says that when the virgin was about to deliver that child, the enemy was expecting to kill that child. Back in that time when Jesus was born, the king in that time, his name was, it was, let me just, re, let me read that. It's Matthew 2, uh, uh, Matthew 2, 16. It says, When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem 
and his vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Who were the Magi? Well, the three window uh, um, wizards, the, the three um, the three kings that actually visited and Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus Christ. So, who is Isis? <coughs> Isis is the beast that trying to kill the baby. What is the baby? The financial reset. Why I calling the baby? Why am I calling the financial reset a baby? Because it's the birth of a new system. It is the beginning of the new reality. It is the system that will end poverty. It will end hunger. It will end everything. That's what I call the RB. And the whole financial goal reset the baby. The new birth of something new is coming. Thank you, my brother, for uh, for being here in my show. Yeah, and there's, there's something about the them too. Last oh. Tuesday, okay. I heard I heard a, uh, the Holy Spirit say something about the them. So I went and bought some. I went yesterday and bought some them, and I got it today to the mail. So uh, there's something about the Zimbabwe dollar. You know, that's all I know. You know. Okay. Say, so, do you have any specific on the Zimbabwe? Just that I just seen a, a, a I heard of I, I seen like a, a a street scene with you know cars and stuff like that and some color in it and I heard an audible voice say Zim G I M Zimbabwe you know okay hmm. so now I just was paying attention because I go I was gonna buy some more uh, Iraqi dinar but that's a lot of money but the Zimbabwe dollar There's a place in Santa Ana that sells it for sixty-seven dollars. You know. There you go. And yeah. uh, it's okay. I can't you know? So I I just doing what I feel I should do. You know. So it's you okay. Know. It's okay, brother. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay. Now let God me read. You, God bless you too. I am gonna I'm gonna read that. Um, I'm gonna read a a message that I received today, early today, and this is from. From somebody who is Jewish. I'm not going to name his name because uh, I asked him and he just didn't tell me, yeah, you go ahead and say my name. So, But he's Jewish. He's one of my jets. He's been following me. And he says, my name is, you know, his name. I am a fan of yours and listening to your show. My, mother, my mother-in-law got some dinars in the last 10 years and encouraged me to buy some dinars. I did as well, but not as many as her. I'm listening to your show patiently for instructions and in what to do. The reason that I am writing you is because I was listening to your show yesterday. And I have a question. You were talking about the prophecy. I am Jewish, so please forgive me if I sound ignorant. You were mentioning that Palestinians will be liberated. Do you mean Muslims? I am aware that a lot of people don't support the existence of the state of Israel. I am a native Israeli born and raised. I am following my religion since I am a child and believe in, the, in being a good person. Help all and do believe that we can all live in peace. I did serve my country in the military. And when I was a child, I experienced many attacks by Hamas and Fatah organization. I still believe that one day will we achieve peace. I have many friends that are Muslims all around the world, including Israel. Can you please help me understand What did you mean when you talk about Palestinians? I hope I'm not offending you in any way. I love learning and you are an abundance of knowledge. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your message. So I responded, you know, and I said, I'm a true defender, and I've been saying it. And I, every time I say it, I get attacked. I get attacked. I'm a true defender and support the Israel and their people. Our Lord Jesus Christ referred in the prophecy is very clear. Let me explain, I said to him. This is the part of the prophecy. There will be prosperity where you least expect it. We talk about Central America. We talk about Haiti. We talk about having oil and all that. All right. So the prayers of my people in Iran and the praise of my people in Iraq, my Christians, my are Muslims. They're not. One of the biggest movement of Christianity in the world is in Palestine. That's why he referred like this. That's why our Lord referred in the prophecy. Yes, Palestine. Because he knows everybody's like going to be shocked. So, I will hear their praise and do something marvelous. That's the word marvelous. Pay attention to the word marvelous. That will affect this nation. What nation is going to affect? Palestine. All right. It's going to be marvelous. All right. Our Lord Jesus Christ talks about the Christians, not the Muslims. Why? Because many prophets have said the same thing that I'm going to repeat. Don't get angry with me. If I telling you this, I'm not attacking you as a person. I'm not attacking you as a human being. I'm talking the ideology. I'm saying to all of you that God loves you. I'm saying to all of you that Jesus Christ is here because he wants to free you. <coughs> he has said through prophecy that he will kill Islam, the spirit of Islam. I'm not the one saying it. That's the prophecy saying it. Don't get mad at the messenger. All right? Thank you. So, second, we know something marvel is going to happen that will switch the coming event in Israel and the resolution of the United Nations to separate Israel and Palestine. That's coming. All right? That's coming. I mentioned that Palestine wants to become a country. Yes, I did. I mentioned that as a probably one of the countries that will actually come out, out of the September 23. But, as you know, that will affect very negative to Israel. Yes, it will affect very negative to Israel. The promised land of Abraham. Okay? So, so we know the spirits of, of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, will not let anything bad happen to Israel. And I told him, so we know the Spirit of God will kill the Spirit of Islam. And I said to him, I will recommend you and all my Jewish friends to take your time to read and study the Bible. Read the New Testament. Compare it with the Old Testament. Have your time to Talk to somebody that can lead you and basically tell you what God has for you. Okay? And this is my this is my my message to all my Jewish followers. I love you guys. I really do. I have learned a lot of stuff from from Jewish, from my bosses in the banking industry. I work for, for Jewish people for oh my God all 20 years. And I have learned a lot of things. I admire them a lot because they're very smart. Very smart. All right, guys. So I just wanted to wanted to share that message from one of my fans. And these things are happening now. Now, wait for tomorrow. I will do my show again tomorrow. All right. So uh, let me just put you off right now because a lot of there's a lot of bad noises coming out. And uh, tomorrow is going to be priceless. I'm just telling you right now. 
Tomorrow is going to be awesome. So many of, of my followers knows that when I pre-call something, it happens. Okay? Because I'm one step a, a ahead of everybody. I'm two steps ahead of everybody. And there's are three steps ahead of everybody. And the reason why I'm repeating these words is because I am preparing you for the biggest chaos and panic that will come. It's not going to be pretty. Okay? Thank you so much for your attention. I'm looking for tomorrow. You have no idea how much I'm looking for tomorrow. God bless everybody. And thank you to all your messages. Thank you to all your testings and all your blessings. In Puerto Rico, lift your face up. You will become greater, greater, and better. And to all my Mexican friends too, Mexico will be beautiful and blessed. Trust me. Thank you so much. And I'm looking for for tomorrow. Don't miss it. It will be priceless. Good night. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.